who do you think is the favorite right now to win the Stanley Cup? Ooh, that's a that's a really good question. So, like how I always say, the the briefcase of a million dollars, you get it if you get the right answer. Who would you pick? There's two teams. So, I really the Leafs and (laughs) yeah, it's just the Leafs. The Leafs are a lock. Bet bet your house, bet all your money on the Leafs to win the cup. Please don't do that, and please gamble responsibly. <laughs> yeah, please way. gamble responsibly. And when we say that, don't bet on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, if you just want to, if you want to protect your money, invest in anything but the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, That's comic books, the best whatever. Piece of advice we can give on this podcast. But no, in all seriousness, Lapore, a team that I really like, and I've been on this team all year, is Carolina. Oh, I good one. really, really like Carolina. I think across the board, they are an excellent team in terms of offense, defense, goaltending. And I know they have Freddie Anderson and Mm. he's prone to some bad, some bad games in the playoffs. I I get that, but I really like this Carolina Hurricanes team. And I think depth wise, they're excellent. Now, Freddie Anderson does scare me a bit, but I think they are a very, very legit contender to win the Stanley cup. And right now their odds on my bookie, they're sixth. So Leafs are fourth Panthers are fifth and the hurricanes are sixth at plus 1075. So almost 11 to one to win the Stanley cup. So I would say that hurricanes team in the East. And I know, I know Tampa back-to-back champs and all that they're in the mix too, but then in the West, I keep going back to the well with this team, Lapore. it's the Colorado avalanche. Okay. And I know they've been the favorite to win the Stanley Cup all season in terms of the books, but I just love that team, man. They call Colorado has that feeling, and you get this a lot like in the history of hockey, that like they have to do it eventually, don't they? Like you you, you kind of have that feeling of like at There's some too point. Much talent. Yeah, at some point they're just gonna do it. Like it's gonna they're gonna go over the hump. I mean, the only one that comes to mind as an exception would be the San Jose Sharks, like those elite Sharks teams where they made a final, but you you were kind of like, yeah, San Jose will get one, like those Thornton, Marlowe, San Jose Sharks teams, Pavelski, and they never did it. But yeah, like Colorado has that feeling. Like they're the team in the NHL right now that's like that next team that we could see dominate and win a cup or cups for that matter. Yeah, they're just so good, so talented, so fast. They got talent across the board. So yeah, that's a, that's a team that I always have confidence in. And I thought they were going to win the Stanley cup last season. I know they lost to Vegas in the second round who then somehow lost to Montreal Canadians in six games, but no, I, I'm always on the Colorado avalanche with the talent that they have. So I think those are the two, I would say front runners for me. Mm. Do you, how, how do you feel about that? Is there another team we haven't mentioned here that you think has a legit chance to go all the way? Yeah, like I'll do the same thing as you. Like I'll pick uh, one in the East. I'll pick one in the West. Um, one I don't think is too hot of a take. One I think is kind of going sort of off the board. I'd like to see their betting odds for that matter too. But first, I will say the uh, the Washington Capitals. Um, kind of like what I touched on before about how hockey kind of historically hockey kind of works in different ways uh, than other sports and. To me, there's that little thing of like, I think Ovechkin will win another cup. Just like for the story of Alex Ovechkin, I think he'll win another Stanley Cup. That team is firing on all cylinders. They're near the top of the standings. And I think kind of like the under talked about topic of the year so far is how well that team's been been playing. And TJ Oshie has only played 14 games of like, I think they've played 30 games total. He's only played 14 games. And Backstrom's only played one. So for this team to sit at the record they currently sit at of 18, six and seven, having to deal with that, that's pretty friggin' impressive. And then you throw in that Alexander Ovechkin has come out like an absolute train this year and just seems like an, he is an absolute freak, but it just seems like he's gone full blown this year. Seems very motivated. So in the East, I'll pick Washington. I like um, it. In the West, and this is the one I was referring to where I'd like to see their odds. I'm going to go a little off the board here. You know how much I love them, Bruno. I'm going to say the Minnesota Wild. 
I knew you were going here. You knew I was going there. Bring the cup back to hockey, USA, Minnesota. I just made Red Wings fans really mad, really mad. But uh, yeah, I think they're a team. There's that old thing in hockey when you watch games and you watch certain teams and there's certain styles that you just feel will work in the playoffs. And let's say it's heavy hockey. It's heavy hockey teams come at you in waves. They attack you, you get it out. They attack you again and it keeps happening. And they remind me of that. And like we touched on the Oilers pre- uh, earlier in the show. And like, I'll say it like the Leafs, for example, in previous years, like even those early Babcock years when they were scoring a lot of goals and fun to watch and silky and smooth and fun. And, and I sound like a dinosaur here, but that style is not going to win over four rounds. And I never, for that reason, I never really did in my heart believe like those teams could go all the way. But I look at this Minnesota team, man, and they have a lot of different styles. They have a lot of characters on that team. They win in different ways. And again, that balance, like that balance in that heavy play, I think they have a shot. Like I know I'm going like kind of off the board here, but I like them, man. I like them. I think that team's built the right way. They've been getting decent goaltending from Talbot. Let's do it, man. The Minnesota Wild. But have you been able to, have you been able to pull up their odds? Yeah, so I got their odds right here in Lapore. I don't think it's a hot take at all. I think they've been excellent this season. And the big thing with Minnesota is that they're scoring goals now. That's a team yeah. that has historically been known as like, you know, a tight defensive team that wins games two to one. But they're second in the league right now in goals per game behind Colorado. Oh, I don't so, even know that. Wow, so that's your, that's impressive. That's crazy. And, and their odds, Lapore. So I I ended off my last uh, little rant saying that Carolina was sixth in the odds. Minnesota right behind them, seventh. Okay, they're plus twelve twenty five to win the Stanley Cup according to my bookie. So they are seventh on the leaderboard right now in betting odds to win the Stanley Cup. Oh, here, here, I thought I was being all like clever and smart, picking a team off the board. And no, they seem to be like uh, pretty decently ranked on the Vegas, uh, on the Vegas boards. But like to the point about the type of team they have in the balance, like listen to this, Bruno. So we're talking about like Matthews having 20 goals and dry side and Ovechkin scoring on all cylinders. So here's Minnesota sitting where they sit in the standings. Kirill Kiprasov, 11 goals. Hartman, 13 goals. Zuccarello, eight goals. Um... Erickson Eck, 11 goals. Felino, 13 goals. That team is balanced, man. That's like, a balanced team. That's a that's balanced scoring, man. Like t- to be, you said they're second in goals in the NHL and to not have a guy who's got like 20 or like two guys at that's 20. Impressive. It's very impressive. Very impressive. So I like them a lot, man. Go wild. Go wild. And really, too, like we all love the story of like the Minnesota North Stars. So wouldn't it be great for those fans who lost a team and who I think had, and I might get a warm, I start over this one, but who I think very well may have had the nicest jerseys in the history of the national hockey league, the uh, Minnesota North stars for those fans who have lost their team, get a team back, win the Stanley cup. I'll be rooting for them. I'll be rooting for that story. hundred percent. I love it. Lepore. I'm also a big fan of those North star jerseys. Oh, it's the best man. And listen, when when Lepore is saying a jersey is one of the best jerseys in NHL history, take him seriously because this dude, I mean, if there's anyone who knows jerseys, if there's a jersey (laughs) snob out there, Michael Lepore is is he's number one on the list, man, especially in my books. So I I take that seriously, Lepore. Okay. When you're you're speaking that highly of the North Star jersey. So yeah. If there's no hockey, we may have to find some topics to talk about. Maybe we'll do like an all-time jersey ranking show or something like something fun like that to fill fill some airtime. And just to uh another the other team you brought up there, Laporte, Washington. They're actually right behind Minnesota in the odds as well. So they're eighth at plus 1325. So a little over 13 to one. So that's good. Oh, Timmy, that's a bet, man. 13 times your money on the Washington Capitals. And like I said, no backstrom and no Oshi. Like crazy. Yeah, I take that, that's the bet to me. That's crazy impressive. I guess the, the two teams you can compare in that sense are Washington and Tampa because Tampa's basically yeah. been without Braden Point for almost half the season. Nikita Kucherov has been injured again. So, and to see what Tampa's been doing without those two guys, and like you mm-hmm. said, Laporte, to see what Washington has done without Backstrom and without Oshi for half the season. 
That's insane, man. Bananas, and Ovechkin man. is like you said, he's been unbelievable this year, but I'm right there with you, man. I think both of those teams, if you're going to put a bet, sprinkle a little money, Minnesota and Washington, those are looking like very, very strong plays at this point. 